Why hello everybody, Spencer here, also known as Lego Dude 11 and in today's video, this is my top 10 most anticipated movies for 2024. Just made my top 10 movies of 2023 list, make sure to check that out up here. So without further ado everyone, let's discuss. Alright guys, so before I get started with my actual top 10 most anticipated list, I do have some honorable mentions to share with you for next year um, because I wanted to include some other films as well. <clears throat> so with that said, no, no particular order, there is A Quiet Place, day one, I know that's not in my top 10, but I'll, I'm sorry, uh, Despicable Me 4, because I have a love for the franchise, except for the Minions, but that's that's okay, Joker 2, Fully Adu. Uh, and Kung Fu Panda 4, because the first three are great. Hopefully the next one's not a cash grab, but we'll find out. Those are the four honorable mentions. Now let's get to the list. So, number 10 is The Fall Guy. And to be quite honest with you, I actually have no idea what this movie is about. I heard some stuff about what the movie was about, and then all I know is that Emily Blunt and Ryan Gosling are in it. Two people I like. It looks like an action film. I saw some of the trailer when we went to see the Marvels. I went to the bathroom. They came back during the previews, and I was like, oh, what's this film? It looks great. And I was like, The Fall Guy? Oh, this looks even better now. Like, I didn't see the entire trailer, but there was some music playing. I think it was Bon Jovi music. But I don't know. It <laughs> looks intriguing by the action, by the poster. I don't know what it's entirely about. But all I can say is that this one's at number 10, and it intrigues me. So that's number 10. Number nine is Sonic the Hedgehog 3. I have no idea why I started talking like that, but I did. Um, and uh, yeah, I love the first two Sonic films. Big, 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 puts a big grin on your face. Tons of fun. Great for kids as well as adults. Great nostalgia factor. Now, I would not say, I don't, I, I don't know the right way to say this, but... I actually haven't talked with it about with it my with my friends, but when Mario came out, there's like, what's better, the Sonic movies or this? And it's like I don't know what's better really. They're just they're just good in their own right. So, but I am definitely looking forward to Sonic the Hedgehog three with Shadow. There is no doubt that I am beyond pumped. Now I don't know if Jim Carrey is coming back for this, but do I just said the wrong thing? I'm so sorry. But Sonic the Hedgehog three with Shadow. With tails, with knuckles, all those characters. Hopefully, other characters come into the play as well, like uh, the 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 pink girl. I think Lucy is her name, but we'll have to wait and find out. Maybe Silver the Hedgehog is coming. Maybe maybe Chaos is coming. I don't know. We'll have to find out. But that's number nine. Number eight is Inside Out Two, and this is one that people are like, you know, because. You you got you guys probably on the internet that know where I am too. Oh, Disney this, Disney that. Now I am one right now. I I actually was it. I didn't feel this way until the Little Mermaid came out. I was like, all right, Little Mermaid was fine. Like I enjoy the music, but why are we still doing these live live action Disney remakes? And now they want to do uh, like a a, a a a Snow White, but they want to do it differently than what they did in the original one, the original animated one. Like they want to redo the stories, like. What are you doing, Disney? And Bob Iger's like trying to trying to say like we're gonna fix Disney. Um, I'm sorry, Bob Iger, but that's not fixing Disney at all. But all I can tell you, oh, and they want to make uh, like two more Frozen movies, Toy Story five, too much. But what I can tell you is not too much is Inside Out two, because there has not been a sequel for that. And this and and um, I have been preaching an Inside Out or a, uh, Incredibles three. But I don't think that's ever going to happen. But Inside Out 2 is something that I really, really do want to see. And this, the teaser trailer with anxiety and the emotions that they're presenting to us look fantastic. Because I actually feel like this is a film that can relate to me and lots of other people that have anxiety and, and, and um, like other teenage moments. Because I, I just after my first college semester, I definitely feel a lot like these emotions just come out and hit you hard, man. So I am ready for this film. I feel like it's going to be relatable to a lot of people, especially myself, to my friends. Watching this film is going to be 
a blast and a treat. So I cannot wait for it in summer of 24. And then we have number six. Now, I have to be completely honest with you because this film actually might be higher. Like, I might enjoy this movie way more. But ranking these movies is, 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 is oh my god, it's so hard. But Furiosa we have right now. And Furiosa, after watching this trailer, has like boosted up through the roof. And you might guys might be thinking, so why is it like right here on your list? Well, it, it's it's weird. It's it's weird. It's just all these films I have lots of love for. So this one I watched the trailer for, and I'm currently wa watching Mad Max right now. Like I put it on, and I was like, I'm gonna record my top ten list videos. So I'm kind of kind of doing lots of stuff today. Just got back from from uh, my final semester or my final semester, my my finals week, I guess I should say. Uh, Finishing my first semester. So, Furiosa is a Mad Max prequel to the 2015 film. And I am very excited based off the trailer. We have Anna Taylor-Joy, Chris Hemsworth coming into the mix. I didn't even know it was Chris Hemsworth in the trailer. And it was like, that's Chris Hemsworth? And the world is the same as ever. We have the wasteland. We have a hint of green. Which is a little bit of green of the of the, like the memory flashback. That's what a memory. That's what a that's a, um, from I think um, Frios's memory of like when when all the green was there and whatnot. But I cannot wait for this film. Anna Taylor Joy as Furiosa is going to be amazing. I love her presence. I love her acting. So seeing this is going to be great on the big screen. I cannot wait. And this is just one of the movies coming out on May twenty fourth. On two days, I, I cannot wait. I'll get to the other one in a minute here, but. This one looks sick, epic, pumped, I'm pumped up for it, and hopefully after this film we get a follow-up to the 2015 film with um, Tom Hardy again and Charlize Theron. Um, I cannot wait for Furiosa though, it looks amazing. Um, and epic, no pun intended. So, that was number six. Number five? Is this number five? Did I say, did I, did I do that right? Ten was four guy. Uh, nine, eight... Seven. Okay, number six. We're on six now. It's Ballerina. Sorry, I did a little bit of mass miscalculation there. Number six is Ballerina. And this one is the spin-off of the John Wick franchise. Um, and the Continental Show is okay, but this one is the, the, the one I'm looking most forward to. Looking most forward to. Because it has the characters from the franchise. It has Ian McShane as... Uh, as um, whatever his name is, I already forget, Winston, and then we have John Wick himself, Keanu Reeves is in there, I don't think the concierge or the, the, the guy's in there, um, the black, the, the black butler guy, oh well, but I I am looking forward to this film, Anna de Armas is in it, excuse me, as the ballerina, as the ballerina, and she's like laying on the ground like with a whole bunch of guns around her, so I cannot wait for this film. And just, you know, see some John Wick action with the ballerina. Not sure what to expect, but until we get a trailer, I'm super pumped. Now, I know we haven't seen a trailer for this one, but a ballerina, like, I love John Wick so much, that's why, that's why it's above Furiosa, but Furiosa, I'm super pumped for as well. But the next one, number five, after ballerina, number five is Ghostbusters Frozen Empire. Now, we have seen a Frozen, we have seen a Frozen for it. We have seen a trailer for this one, and I am, I am excited for this one. This one comes out, I think. March. This one comes out in March. And I'm pumped for this one because Ghostbusters Afterlife was a treat. It was a return to form for Ghostbusters. It's how you do a legacy film right. And there's a couple things I want to mention because Ghostbusters 2016, we all know how that turned out. Then we got Ghostbusters Afterlife. That was great. But however, <clears throat> some people, I heard, I think it was Christian Holoff was saying that, and I kind of agreed with him, oh dear, don't make this one like super CGI, big, big, Big this, big that, big villain, big villain. So I'm just wondering if they can do a great follow-up to Afterlife or it's going to be like, this big budget thing, yes, let's pump it up. I, I don't know, but I, I all I can say is that the trailer looked good. We have um, the same cast. We have Finn Wolfhard. We have um, the girl who's been in a bunch of things. I already forget her name, but, <laughs> you know. Oh, I could look up the cast right now. Um, uh, Ghostbusters... Oh my god, it's not going to work for me, is it? Uh, 
uh, McKenna Grace is her name. And then we have um, Paul Rudd is back. And we have the entire Ghostbusters cast is back we see in the trailer. And then we have... Um, we see a glimpse of our villain. And then we have um, whatever her face is. Um, no, not her face. We have um, Colin Farrell. Is it not Colin Farrell? What, what is his name again? Patton Oswalt. Patton Oswalt's in here. So I'm definitely excited to see what he brings to the table. Oh, and... Um, I think I think his podcast back as well. Um and uh Kanao Nagiani is in it as well. So I'm definitely excited for Ghostbusters Afterlife, the sequel. The Ghostbusters Frozen Empire. It's not gonna be Ghostbusters Afterlife. Ghostbusters Frozen Empire. Definitely looking forward to that. And that's number five. I love Ghostbusters, so definitely one to look forward to. Number four is Kingdom of the Planet of the Apes. And this one just gives me so pumped up because I just watched the trilogy, which was so good. And um, I, I mentioned in my last video that I think that Across the Spider-Verse the Spider movies are going to be the, my, the best trilogy of all time. Right underneath that has got to be the, the original uh, or the, the new era of Planet of the Apes trilogy. But this one just looks so good. Animation is great. Or not animation, but the CGI looks great on the, the apes. And the world looks beautiful. I I can't tell you how excited I am for all these movies. But this one in general just looks great to see. And this one's the other one coming out in May. We got Furiosa and this coming out on the same day, May 24th, four days before my birthday next year. I am so happy. It, it just makes me so giddy to, to, to hear this, have this in my head. And next year is going to be so pumped. I... I I don't mean to brag and to somehow come out to sound like I'm condescending, but just like I'm just looking forward to next year and something I'm happy and passionate about brings me so much joy. So anyway, um, that's number four on my list. If you guys have not seen the Planet of the Apes uh, new era, be sure to watch them. Number three. Oh, yeah. We got Deadpool 3. Um, I am looking forward to this one. Uh, I, I feel like no words need to be said about this, but yeah, just like no comment, but like Deadpool, Deadpool 1 and 2 are beloved, and I feel like with this one, we got Wolverine, Hugh Jackman as Wolverine coming back to reprise his role one last time, and hopefully we get another Wolverine, um, we, we see our, who our Wolverine is in this one, like in the MCU, because this is our Deadpool in the MCU, and, um, we know... It's going to be like Deadpool killing the Fox universe. Hopefully he goes around and travels in time. I just would love... I, I just hope this is Marvel doing it right after Loki Season 2. Loki Season 1 and Season 2 were great. So hopefully they can make this set. And supposedly we're going to see the TVA in the movie. So don't know what that's going to be like. We know uh, we've seen some images of Dogpool. So that's crazy. Um, and I cannot wait for Deadpool 3. Coming in July... Of next year that's gonna be a great summer movie the only Marvel movie coming out next year only MCU movie I don't care about any of the Sony movies forget Craven forget Madam Web forget Venom 3 Venom 3 is possibly okay but eh Deadpool 3 is where it's at Venom 3 is kind of an honorable mention but eh Be or Deadpool 3 is my top three of the year is at number three of my most anticipated so I cannot wait for that next summer of next year all right, kicking off number two is Beetlejuice 2, coming out in September of 2024. And I know what many of you are thinking right now, typing on your computer, saying your screen, are you kidding me? This is at his number two of the year. And I know, I'm probably sure that there are many other YouTubers out there that either A, don't have this this high, or B, don't have it on their top ten at all. But this Beetlejuice, the original, is like, Besides Indiana Jones, besides Back to the Future, besides The Goonies, if you're excluding those three, this is my favorite 80s movie. It really is. And E.T. And, and e. is fine as well. But this is my, my, my favorite 80s movie. I watched it with my parents. Love the Beetlejuice theme. Love the comedy. Love the, the story. Love the entire movie. This, I cannot wait for this film to get here soon enough. I really thought it was going to come out this year, 23. It got delayed. I thought it was going to come out like next spring. Got delayed. I cannot wait. Yeah, I thought it was going to come out this year, but it. I cannot wait. 
I don't want it to get pushed again because I, I can't wait. And if it's a total garbage bag, if it's a total crap bat fest, I mean, whatever, but like, at least I have something to look forward to. So, um, I mean, again, it was like an 80s film. It's, it's, this isn't even a legacy film. I just hope it's good. We have Jenna Ortega being the daughter of a known writer. How much better can that be? Beetlejuice, uh, uh, what's his face? Um, Danny, not Dan, Danny Elfman's doing the music, I believe. I love the guy. Michael Keaton, how could I forget? Michael Keaton's coming back as Beetlejuice, but Catherine O'Hara's coming back. I believe, or Gina, no, not Gina. Uh, Winona Ryder's coming back. Um, I believe, let me, let me look up Beetlejuice 2 cast real quick. Uh, Monica Belushi is Beetlejuice's wife. Willem Dafoe is going to be in it. Catherine O'Hara is coming back. Winona Ryder's coming back as Lydia. And Jenna Ortega is going to be in it as Lydia's daughter. I cannot wait for this. I love Wednesday. I love Jenna Ortega. Jenna Ortega is apparently out of the next Scream movie. So I can't wait to see her uh, break her all in this one. I just cannot wait for Beetlejuice 2. There, there's, there's a Beetlejuice uh, musical which has some good music. I haven't seen the whole musical, but this film better live up. Uh, I mean, it's not going to be like the best movie of the year, but I definitely have a lot of hype for it because I'm a Beetlejuice fan, and I cannot wait to see this film in theaters in September of next year. So this just brings me a lot of joy. I just, I'm just gonna, just gonna have a Beetlejuice nostalgia throughout the whole year until the next one comes out. So I cannot wait. And then, guys, if you don't know. My number one most anticipated film of next year. It's coming very, very soon. It's the first film I'm going to see next year. It's Dune Part 2. Oh, yeah. It's Dune Part 2. And you guys might be a little bit confused. If you don't know why you're confused, because Dune Part 2 hasn't come out. It was supposed to come out of this year, 2023. And it and I actually had it on my most anticipated. And I was wrong, guys. I was very, very wrong. Until I saw the trailer for Dark Dune Part 2. And I realized, huh. I had it much lower on my list than I should have. I needed it higher. And now, they got delayed. It's my most anticipated for 2024. It's my number one. Number one, guys. And then after I see the film, then I can say, ha, that's over with. And and uh, I'm, I'm super pumped up for this one. And then I'm pumped up for every other film coming out in 2024. But this one, it just looks so good. The trailers make it, make, they're so epic. Just like Furiosa. But this one looks just looks so good on the dune, riding the sandworms. Love the first one. Love the music. The ah, and then we got, and then it's delayed. So it's delayed till March. It was gonna be. This is the spot where Spider Verse was, across the, or beyond the Spider Verse. But now that got delayed. So this automatically became my most anticipated for 2024. Guys, if you are excited for any of these movies, drop a comment below. Let me know your most anticipated list for 2024. By the way, um, let me know what your what your, what if your list is different. If you're looking forward to any of these others, if you're looking forward to any of these on the list, and you say, uh, "I like this," I, I'm I'm interested, but I put a little lower, a little higher. Let me know what you guys do. Um, let me know if you're interested in any of the honorable mentions. By the way, I made my top ten movies of 2023. Be sure to check that out up here. Uh, there's a card for it, and it might be popping up the screen somewhere up here. Don't know where it is, but don't forget to leave a like. Subscribe to the channel, family. Lego Dude 11. As always, don't forget to follow me at Boba Fett Jim Master. Links down below in the description. Don't forget to leave a like, subscribe, follow me. Don't forget to keep calm, play Lego. I cannot wait to watch all this stuff in 2024 and the shows as well. Avatars coming. Can't wait for all these shows and movies. 24? The Boys, Fallout, House of the Dragon. Oh! I cannot wait, guys. 2024 is going to be so dope. Even doper than this year. Don't forget to leave a like, subscribe, follow me. Don't forget to keep calm, play Lego, and watch stuff. Peace out, everyone. Bye.